Greetings, mortals. My name is Valera, aka Celestial Curse, and today my benefactor has scheduled for me to react to a video for you guys. This video is called Basically Celestials. That's me. And it is by Runesmith. So before we jump into this, I would just like to ask that you guys like and subscribe this video and just hit the uh, notification icon so you can be up to date on all of our future content. Also, please visit my Twitch channel, which will be down in the description below. Without any further ado, let's get into it. This was going to be basically angels, but D&D &D only has three of them, and not a whole divine hierarchy. So mm -hmm. celestials are all shiny people who live in the kingdoms up above, but not yeah, literally shiny. above. It's just a weird metaphor. They aren't gods. They're more like regional managers and couriers, all hired by the gods. <laughs> or from the blood yeah. of gods, or gods' dreams, or born as bastard mm -hmm. children. Gods yep. work weird. Gods yeah, don't usually do. mess around with mortal stuff unless the whole world is going to collapse. But your player characters usually take those jobs up, so Celestials are mm. rare outside of heaven. The thing that Celestials that are known true. by is what god they serve or which job they quit. Even though they're all powerful lords of absolute goodness and purity, they're all capable of turning into assholes. Is that also, fired? everything from heaven is attractive. Go figure. Celestials aren't as orderly as fiends, so I'll describe them in a mm -hmm. somewhat random order. The most powerful and deadly Celestials, aside right, from okay. the f***ing gods, are Empyreans. They used to be called Titans, Empyreans. which I honestly think is a little bit cooler. But they're essentially extremely tall and moody versions of Jesus. <laughs> they were created to be avatars of the gods, and are only one step down the line mm. from being gods themselves. DMs who want to kill gods, and maybe use a stat block like this one here. They run around doing God's will and experiencing mood swings that literally shake the very fabric of reality. If one goes rogue, really it can moody. pretty much they do really whatever it wants. Best case scenario for an evil titan is to have a good titan come fight him while Duel of Fates plays in the background. That way only everyone on the continent dies, which is better than the alternative. They're so damn powerful if you rub one the wrong way, you will not survive. If you manage to kill it mm -hmm. once, it just respawns at home and then comes to kill you again. Respawn Most outsiders server. <laughs> do this, I know, but I feel like it stands out for an outsider this strong. Also, they're beautiful. They're to describe beautiful. angels, they're like God's police. All of them are lawful good, even the ones who work for chaotic gods. Angels right. act like prideful military generals who work for their country and what that country stands for, True. no matter what the cost. True. They're so adamantly devoted to lawful goodness that they can become massive dicks about it. If an angel's big dick energy oversteps <laughs> yeah. its bounds, it can get fired in an instant and left as an exile. Big Let's take a look energy. at the three types of angels. First you have devas, the couriers and undercover cops of God. They stick around mm. common problem joints like the vanilla world, the fancy world, and the upside down. Devas sneak around in disguises and deliver messages, or spread happiness and all that yep. good shit. A fallen That's deva, this is a spoiler, ends up in Curse of Strahd That's and does some me. really weird shit. I These falling. Martian Manhunter people are some of the most badass angels in the book. They fly around as omens of goodness and death, sending down either waves of water or hordes of locusts on the villagers, either for fun or because hordes they deserve it, but who's to tell? Their hobbies include feeding the hungry and slaughtering fiends. Solar angels mm -hmm. are like reality sentinels. These guys are so badass they only have two job options. Be the bodyguard and close friend of a god, or sit in the thinking man pose for several eons until reality begins to quake. That like is Empyreons, if so one doesn't accurate. like you, Some of them you have about six seconds to live. Of I years. think out of every celestial, Ki Rin have to be the most good. They're like the antithesis of Absol, as seeing one always brings good luck. These giant scaly grandpa horses sit at the tops of mountains in fancy grandpa temples horses. and tell people karate is not the way of a true hero. It's not. Karatels are fancy Mayan snakes that fly around and speak in riddles. They guard ancient treasures and secrets, but have a hard time doing so because they can't lie. <laughs> so you ask them what they're guarding and they just kind of awkwardly sit there until you go away. They're task keepers None of a dude business. who died before time started, and I don't think they reproduce. Actually, no. I think they're going extinct. Shit. <laughs> Rip. Unicorns are also apparently celestials and not fairies, which is weird because most of them just hang out in the Fae. 
and protect fey things from evil fey. Right. Unicorns are territorial, see a lot of unicorns, and their forests give them a um, healthy home field advantage when fighting anywhere evil. Anywhere in Sometimes, the upper plains. when a princess or some fabulous dude who's okay with riding a unicorn takes up a task for the sake of good, the gods send them a horned mm -hmm. horse. I love the image of a 300-pound half-orc <laughs> barbarian, armed to the teeth with bloodied blades, Look at that riding orc. a pretty unicorn. Oh my god. The only other celestial we have to work with are the Pegasus. Mm -hmm. You know, that dog from Disney's Hercules. They fly around at supersonic speed to avoid contact with anything. They're a bunch of unmountable cowards, but if you horses. get through the tooth-grinding process of taming one, you get a late-game mount for life. In the old editions, <laughs> they also had animal people who hated evil, these three things yeah. who use the name I use, and the mm -hmm. elves from Mordenkaitens. There isn't a whole lot of detail about the Upper Plains, but I'm sure they've got a book in the works that'll help us we don't like to release much understand information. just what's up there. But until then, that's basically Celestials. Hmm. Well, um, all in all, it's pretty accurate, everything that they said. I do like the comedic value of them referring to us and the things that we do. Um, for me, I actually can't go back to Mount Celestia for specific reasons. Uh, but we're not going to talk about that. Anyways, so... This was actually a really good video and representation of Celestials as a whole. Um, he pretty much hit the nail on the head with most of them. And it was very, very amusing. So I liked it. I liked it a lot. And um, if you like this content, you can always come back and check this out here. And you can follow me on Twitch, just like I said, and on Twitter, which all of those links will be down in the description below. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and as always, ciao mortals!